One of the big problems is, is that fishing line that accumulates on these reefs over time becomes a nasty entanglement hazard and it can basically entrap all types of marine life. And this includes air breathing animals such as dolphins and turtles. And that's a big motivating factor for us to come out and do our part and to try to clean these reefs as best as possible. Today we're sending a group of marine conservation divers offshore Jacksonville, Florida to perform a reef cleanup. We're going to visit three artificial reef sites that happen to be sunken barges. And on these barges we're going to find, you know, corals and sponges and, and, and all kinds of, of fish and critters. Any reef site that's utilized by humans is basically an offshore destination or an attraction. And just because people utilize these reefs means that they're going to leave you know, some of their footprint behind. And unfortunately that's going to be in the form of trash or say fishing line. And fishing line is pretty nasty in itself because generally it's monofilament, which means it's clear and it doesn't break down. So you have this crystal clear line down there. Animals generally can't see it. They get snagged up in it. It doesn't biodegrade, so it's there forever. And it's just a real nasty potential hazard. We used anything from stainless steel shears to wire cutters, anything we could to remove this material as best as possible. We brought up literally miles and miles of fishing line and discarded anchor rope. A lot of monofilament line, which is the fishing, you know, line down here. They get caught up on these uh, barges and snap the lines off and it just kind of lays down there. And you can imagine we're down 50 feet, so there's probably 100 foot plus. Every time you pick up a piece of line, you got 100 feet plus that you got to cut off. Fishing line and then this bag right here. Found a nice, a uh, couple of nice anchors, a lot of fishing line. <laughs> Uh, rope, and we brought up a big chunk of rope. We cut all the live stuff out and we saved what we could in a separate storage container with water and kept it all alive. Stuff like this, this is live coral. We're gonna try to save it. And it's actually going to a local marine science center and to Jacksonville University. Everybody benefits from this, not only the environment and the marine life, but us as humans and as a community benefit from this. Healthy reefs support tourism, the local economy, the seafood market, and, and several sub-industries. And those industries and, and all those that benefit from it will be negatively effective if we don't have healthy reefs. So cleaning up reefs is important to everybody, and that's why we're doing our part.